This is Witchbase News for Friday the 16th of February 2024 I'm Commander Burr. In Elite Dangerous News this week Quakes and tsunamis devastate the homeworld of the federal president elect the true nature of the weapon to be used against the Thargoids is revealed. With new ships on the horizon there are brand new video guides for gathering engineering materials and more. You know how this bit goes please like, subscribe and ding that little bell so that YouTube shows you all our content and if you'd like to directly help our work here at the Burr Pit you can also support us through Patreon. Links to that and everything else are in the description below. Elite Dangerous started this week with a Galnet news story detailing devastating earthquakes and resultant tsunamis on the planet Rhea 3. The natural disaster detailed in the Galnet report is so devastating in fact that it speaks of urban skylines crumbling like sandcastles and entire neighbourhoods being swallowed up by newly opened fissures in the ground. The quakes originated on the planet's northern continent but the resultant tsunamis have spread the destruction to coastal regions on neighbouring landmasses as well and the initial report speaks of the quakes causing tens of millions of dead. It also tells of aid arriving in force from the humanitarian organisation Safeguard Interstellar as well as from factions within the system. A quick look at the excellent Elite BGS website that tracks and details all the states and simulation back and forths from across the Elite galaxy will tell you that the natural disaster state in Rhea was in fact reflected in the game but it only lasted a couple of days. If you visit the system today there are no signs of natural disaster or humanitarian aid and relief on the scale needed whatsoever and no safeguard interstellar megaships in orbit of Rhea 3. The disaster in Rhea is significant in the Elite Universe not because of the disaster itself but rather because of the job one of its homegrown citizens is about to take on. President elect of the Federation and power play figure Felicia Winters is a native of Rhea 3. Most members of her family that still live on Rhea 3 apparently live in the capital city of New Greenacre which was just one of the cities devastated by the quakes and tsunamis this week. The article on Galnet finishes by stating that Felicia cancelled her schedule and travelled to Rhea 3 upon hearing the news and it further continues that there is speculation that this move may in fact cause delays to Winters taking office and it's this paragraph in fact that is the most significant in the entire piece. With everything happening in the galaxy right now there was speculation in the community that the disaster would trigger a community goal this week to ship in disaster relief to the region. That didn't in fact happen, more on that in a moment. There was even speculation that the disaster may have been as a result of testing of an Aegis developed anti titan weapon the announcement of which was also expected this week. Again more on that in a moment as well. That also appears to not be the case and there was also speculation that perhaps the incumbent president and T1000 looky likey Zachary Hudson had somehow manufactured the disaster Lex Luthor style in an effort to keep Winters away from his desk. Again that appears to not be the case. What does now seem extremely likely is that the disaster has in fact been injected into Elite Dangerous Law by Frontier simply to explain why Felicia Winters is not currently taking office as the new president of the federation. That change would require changes to the powerplay system and as we now know powerplay is in fact being completely overhauled and that change is not scheduled to happen until the summer later this year. Hence the requirement to make Felicia Winters unavailable for a suitably convenient amount of time. As was promised last week the Xeno Defence and Research Agency Aegis officially announced the nature and name of the anti titan weapon that the engineers Ramtar and Professor Palin have been collectively working on to combat the monsters currently parked on the doorstep of the bubble. 
The newly announced Guardian Nanite Torpedo utilises a newly discovered feature of Guardian Relics that effectively causes them to release a kind of nano antibody when exposed to certain EM frequencies. These nanites react aggressively to Thargoid biotechnology and attack it on a molecular level. The Guardian tech inside the warheads is protected from Thargoid anti-Guardian fields by a new armoured layer developed by Palin as a result of compounds retrieved from Thargoid surface spire sites. The plan is to deliver the nanites via the newly developed torpedo directly into the Titans heat regulation systems. If you've visited a Titan you'll know that heat vents are a feature which can be found on the Titans surface. Whilst we speculated last week that Palin and Tar might have been developing an AX Death Star that does very much now not seem to be the case. We will however be shooting torpedoes into small thermal exhaust ports. One could argue in a very similar fashion to bullseyeing womp rats from a T16. The Death Star vibe is still in there just not the way we'd initially imagined. Upon releasing the news a duo of adjacent community goals began in the YZ SETI system to deliver the required components for the manufacture of the new torpedoes and to also protect those deliveries. Both of the CGs are offering pre-engineered heavy duty G5 hull reinforcements and high capacity heatsink modules for the top tiers of contributors and the mass production that is planned off the back of the community goal has also promised simultaneous attacks on all 8 Thargoid motherships with those attacks resulting in at the very least internal damage to the titans or even total destruction. How that damage and destruction is then reflected in game will be something that we'll have to wait until update 18 for. That update is scheduled to arrive on Monday the 26th of February ...a little over a week from now. The now imminent direct attack on the Thargoid Titan motherships and the culmination of the Thargoid War storyline is about to introduce a degree of uncertainty around the availability of the content that the whole year long plus event has brought into the game. If indeed the Titans are forced from the bubble, severely damaged or even destroyed that should mean that front lines and influence over systems are similarly decimated as the Titans are the source of all the Thargoid forces currently operating in the bubble. If the Thargoid gameplay we've seen introduced does indeed recede or disappear completely that could mean the remaining Thargoid spire sites falling silent as the Thargoid influence around them disappears and that event will see one of the big current money making metas spire site authoress hunting also disappear from the game. If you were looking to experience this content but haven't yet tried it we would recommend not delaying any further but if you're unsure where to start or what equipment you might need then there is now a YouTube guide to accessing this content specifically and even better it doesn't require any engineering or guardian module unlocks. I've linked below to the video guide from the YouTube channel The Way who have produced a number of useful Elite Dangerous guides recently amongst the other games they cover as well as a guide to becoming a billionaire from spire site farming. You'll also find excellent guides to passenger missions in the Rubigo system and surface raw material farming from brain trees using flat cannons and limpets amongst other things. And whilst we're on the subject of guides it's likely that a lot of commanders are now wanting to fill up their inventories with ship engineering materials in anticipation of the announced at least 4 new ships entering the game this year. Elite has been without a decent set of new video guides for quite some time now but bang on cue Commander Dituri who we featured a couple of weeks back has you covered with material farming as well and as is the case with all Dituri's guides so far there is a particular slant on avoiding a requirement for engineered builds, grinding or relogging at least where possible anyway to obtain 99% of the materials featured. You'll also find Commander Dituri's latest material gathering tutorials linked in the description below this video. If you haven't already be sure to drop both the guides channels we featured today a sub on YouTube to ensure you don't miss any future guides produced. 
Are you participating in this weeks duo of community goals? Will you be filling up on materials in anticipation of the new ships coming to the game and are you planning on executing a torpedo run on the Thargoid Titan motherships? Let us know in the comments below. That's it for now. Thanks very much for watching. We'll be back later this week with more videos. Until then ….o7 CMDRs follow the greens on the way out and do keep clear of the toast rack. We very much look forward to seeing you next time.